Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Ooh, oh. Well, we had Samson on our last random run. So I think I can justify randoming again. Ah, that's okay. Maggie is, in my opinion, as stated in the last Samson episode, better than Samson. Certainly no, uh, not Eve levels of absolute terrible. Uh, but that's okay. Oh, two of spades, okay. A lot of stuff's happened here very quickly. We're gonna get rid of Yumheart for the tarot cards because I think the tarot cards are in a vast many ways more useful. Right off the bat, they've given us two keys here instead of a, a red heart that we couldn't even use. That's pretty exciting. So we're probably not gonna be able to use those too effectively right away and I'll be hoping to get rid of the tarot cards to pick up something else later. But if we can just pick up a few great things out of them, that'll go a long way. I wonder if we're actually gonna, you know, fight any enemies at, at some point on this run. So, I'm still on Kate's computer in case you haven't noticed. Uh, hopefully the sound is okay. I've listened to the last couple of episodes. I, well, not all of them, because who could listen to this idiot ramble for that long, this overgrown man-child? Anyway, a lot of people think I love the sound of my own voice, that's why I talk so much. No, I talk so much because if I recorded these episodes and didn't talk, that would be the most boring shit in the world, basically. What are you, you're not watching for the high-level play, let's be honest here. I see some posts, you know, around the internet. Oh, that Northern Lion guy loves the sound of his own voice. I'm, I'm a, a freaking internet streamer, dude. What do you want me to do? Shut up? Like, you know, that's that's not what I'm here for. I'm the dude who rambles. That's my only talent that uh, I can I can mine for any sort of financial compensation in this entire world. Just, I'm sorry that you don't enjoy it, but I don't love the sound of my own voice. I mean, I jerk off to it sometimes, but. You know. Who doesn't, right? It's more of kind of a shame jerk off than anything else. So, how's this run going so far? Well, it's interesting. You know, cube of meat, who cares? First pill, bombs are key. Not a big deal for us right now. It takes us from uh, three keys to two, but that's not really that big of a deal. Mostly we're just waiting for this deal with the devil chance on the next floor. Um, yeah, we'll just pop two of spades right away, just so we're actually able to come in here. Honestly, with as much HP as we have, I don't think we need to take Charm of the Vampire. I think Charm of the Vampire, I mean, it's no... We'll figure out where to put this bomb. It's no surprise, but uh, Charm of the Vampire, I think, is pretty not good. As you already knew that I thought, so... I'm gonna avoid that. Now, we do have an arcade on this floor. That's exciting. And... We have a key that we can use to get to the shop. So I'd be pretty surprised if we didn't end up being able to make our shop uh, worthwhile. Whether or not the item in there is any good is a matter of consequence for a different day. A little bit more money and another bomb out of that, so we definitely got our bombs worth there. Didn't find the secret room, which is more than a little bit disappointing. Just be careful here. Alright, I was hoping to get a spirit heart. Alright, how do we handle this shenaniganery here? You just use the greatest diagonal shooting of all time, I guess. Once you take out one of them, life becomes a lot easier. And we're going to play it very simple here because I really feel like I can't afford to take damage. I've learned my lesson in recent runs. And getting these early deals with the devil, if possible, is very, very important when you have the HP necessary to trade for them. We're going to be going up against Monster, which is a very standard fight. You know, we're Maggie, which means that our, you know, starting power... It's fairly low. So get ready, you know, we're get in for the long haul on this one, because Monstro... I think Monstro is one of the tankiest bosses you can end up fighting on the first floor or so. First couple of floors, I guess. But this is A-OK, -okay because he's also one of the most predictable. As long as you can avoid those shots, which uh, got dangerously close right there. Had some good runs. I mean, I don't think it's any secret that I... I've recorded... Or I record episodes in batches. I've, I've done that for ages. Sometimes I see people post on the internet, Wow, I think the problem with Northern Lion's recent Isaac episodes, if you believe there is a problem with them, is that uh, he records them in batches, which means he gets tired of them. Well, I don't... I've, I've recorded episodes in batches in Isaac forever. I don't think that's it. So I'm contemplating, are we going to do like a... Like a... Like the nail is a pretty good pickup here. Okay. Forget our tarot cards, we'll take the nail. I don't think we can use our strength card, by the way, to trick that. So I... 
I was really strongly considering nine lives, but it burned us hard on the last one. And I was considering taking nothing, which I think is a totally defendable approach. But the reason I decided to... Uh, we should use our strength card back there, eventually. Uh, but the reason I decided to take... Uh, the nail is because it makes us stronger. But beyond making us stronger, uh, it gives us the deal with the devil precedent, and it doesn't put us too far behind the eight ball. So I think it's, I think it's a smart pickup. I'm not totally sure though, to be honest with you. We're gonna have to consult after the run. We're, we'll do a post mortem, if you will, to see if that ends up being the right decision. I'm not super comfortable with it. I don't really like the nail anymore. There's obvious benefits to it, but it's not my favorite. Cheap Mom's Purse is a totally okay pickup in my book, and uh, you know what, I'll, I'll take the key to make sure that we can go to our shop on the next floor, or our item room more realistically, but I'd like it to be our shop, because I would like to pick up something to augment the nail a little bit, but a half-price Mom's Purse this early, even though we don't have a trinket, I think it's worth it. Now, plenty of good opportunities for shenanigans here. You come over here, no, you, mm, yep, yeah, that's pretty good, that's good enough. Wait there. All right. That would have found a second secret room over there. This guy, we're not going to be able to move him. Let's just take advantage of the kill. Good money. Uh, the extra HP is okay. And we're going to use our last tarot card to gamble a little bit on this blood bank. And if we go down to half a red heart, that's fine. Let's take this pill, too, see what it is. Doesn't really matter that much. I don't think that affects our outcome of getting a, a blood bag, at least. So it's a bit of a weird Maggie run. I don't think there's any prizes for saying that. This is, uh, unusual. We traded our HP for basically no damage. We traded our HP, like, for more HP in the future. It's unusual. Wow, okay, that's great. Might not expect me to say that, but that's actually really, really good. So now all blood banks in the future, if we play them long enough, will pay out for us. And if we could just get Nun's Habit... Oh, I forgot about this bad boy right here. Um... Still not worth taking nine lives, in my opinion. Although, maybe it is. We'd have one HP anyway. Instead of three. Nah. Let's stick with this. Anyway, yes. If we could just get the Nun's Habit, then we can turn Red Hearts into Spirit Hearts via the Nail on every Blood Bank. It's extremely useful. We can do this. Oh, don't shoot the poop. Don't shoot the poop. Don't shoot the poop. Don't shoot the poop. I shot the poop. He's free now. He can free the others. Don't shoot the poop. Come on. One more, I think. One more. One more. Hey, we did it. Okay. So how do you handle this nonsense now? Well, you free the fly, and then you walk back. Free the fly, and you block yourself in and feel like a big dummy if you take damage, which we didn't, thankfully. Can't really justify opening that right now. Those are going to hurt me at some point on this floor. I can pretty much see it before it happens. Oh, that was not good. But at least we're going to find out if we get to deal with the devil quickly because we're right here on our boss room. So ideally, I would like to get our... Yeah, that's a sweet trinket. Ideally, I'd like to get our nail charged up before... We fight this boss, because it, it almost has a little bit of like a Book of Belial type effect with it. If we could capitalize on that Book of Belial-like effect, I would like to. F this room. Uh, in spite of the fact that I took damage, we're actually extremely lucky that we came in through the, the left door, as opposed to the top door. If we came in through the top door, we'd be uh, eating a lead salad right now. If you come in through the left door, it's actually sort of just fine. And this will allow us to fight our boss with the benefit of a nail charge. Get another key, which we'll probably use for our shop, if I had to guess. And I really, really want it to be the nun's habit. Obviously, I'd be, especially without a reroll, I'd be stoked if it's anything that's not notched axe or the candle. I mean, there's a couple of things that I wouldn't be super excited about, but uh, would still take. Like the battery, for example. Beggars can't really be choosers, but I'm not really a beggar either, am I? I mean, I'm like, you know, I'm spending money to buy a product. It's pretty much the exact opposite of begging. 
Except for donating, which I guess is the literal exact opposite of begging. Now, cautious, 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 okay, we're out. That was surprising. And we survived with our spirit heart. I think the damage was a nice bonus. Why? Why are you giving me the worst boss items of all time? I'm taking the parasite. Now, I don't know if this is the most incredible pickup of all time. Keeps our deal with the devil pressing it up. And I think the parasite is actually okay. I think it gets a bad rap sometimes. Like a ninja rap. And you have to hand it to the game. It's not giving me anything easy here. You know, low HP as Maggie, because what have our items from bosses been so far? Two shot speed upgrades and a cube of meat. That's fucking horrible. <laughs> as much as I would love to, you know, oh, pardon my French. No, it's bad, man. I'm calling a spade a spade here. The good thing is we do have Ace of Spades, um, which apart from being a dope-ass hard rock jam, is also uh, potentially great for giving us Joker cards. I don't want to talk about that shop, but I will probably buy the Steam Sale. Although, it might be better for me to just... Nah, it's it's early enough. I think the Steam Sale's worth it. Please be good. Uh, okay, all's forgiven. This especially synergizes pretty nicely with the, uh, the Parasite. We're going to be firing a lot more often with a little bit less damage. That's fine. DPS goes up. Well, we're not going to be... Oh, uh, we could still buy... We could still buy our... Our good stuff there. Do we really want to go to the mob trap room? If I can just... Oh, it's going to cost us bombs to open that. So yes, we want to go to our mob trap room because it's actually the only readily available golden chest. And we're hoping to get two cents out of it, but if we don't, at least it gives us a chance to spawn an arcade on the next floor. There's, you know, positives and negatives on both sides. This one is particularly good because if we just get one more penny, we can get a... Uh, we can get the steam sale and have the money to spawn an arcade on the next floor. And with the Steam Sale, we could easily get from $0.05 cents to $0.07. Cents, thereby allowing us to uh, buy an item from our shop, assuming there's no greed. Which is plausible, at least. Alright. Shaving up to be a weird one. But what's the, what's the motto lately in The Binding of Isaac? You just live long enough for the game to carry you, basically. And we're not getting carried yet, you know, despite our deals with the devil. Ooh, we have the nail. Ooh, we have the parasite. Fantastic, right? Not really. Oh, justice. Thank you. And you gave me a nickel as well. You glorious, glorious creature. So that's a key for the next floor. And we buy the steam sale. We'll have nine cents left over. Bob's your uncle. We could even buy another key in that case and have enough money to spawn an arcade. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay. I wouldn't say that this is a unbelievably... Fantastic position, but I think the Catacombs one turned out better than it could have considering we got a shot speed upgrade from the boss and a deal with the devil that was full largely of straight up horse shit. I am glad I didn't take nine lives on the last floor because, you know, we didn't find any guppy items in that shop. Of course we're on Catacombs too. You know, it's best at this point just to not concern yourself with the, the bad RNG. It's the number one rule, right? You gotta play the cards that you're dealt. We're getting dealt a shit hand. Let's wash it off. Shake hands with the president. Again, an inelegant metaphor. I have mom's purse, so sure. Curse of Darkness sucks pretty hard, but just remember there's a boss trap room down there. Oh, so good. I kind of don't want to play it yet until I find out if we... I still prefer Count Every Penny Year, um, but I kind of don't want to play it yet until I find out if we uh, can get the nun's habit, because I'll feel bad if I if, if that works out. Ouija board. Good enough. Annoying, yes, but still worth taking. Takes another shitty item out of the deal with the devil pool as well, I guess. Counterfeit Penny could allow us to get to like 13 cents by picking these up. Yeah, okay. Good mental math there, by accident. Parasite seems to be working pretty nicely when you hit those enemies perpendicularly. Obviously kind of like a fringe benefit, but that's okay. Stars card, very useful for um, what I'm just going to go ahead and assume in advance is going to be Necropolis too. So we're definitely going to be able to access our boss trap room. Come on, come on. Which is sweets. 
I think I'm just gonna fight our boss. Normally, I'd love to wait for the nail charge, but that's a long way away here. And I think we've got a pretty good chance of not getting hit twice. It's catacombs, but please don't be like Chubb, basically. This is an easy boss. We can still fuck it up, but it's an easy boss. Um, I'm very, very, very thankful that this is not Chubb. Chad, sorry. I expected that Chad would show up because that's something that uh, the game likes to do. That would make for, like, the fourth relatively shitty boss room we've had thus far. And instead we get meat, which is enormously important for us. You know, get that iron supplement up. I apologize if it keeps sounding like my nose gets plugged up occasionally. Um, the reason it's like that is because there's so much freaking cat hair in the air. I never knew how much cats shed. I mean, I, I did because I grew up with them, but I'd forgotten because I didn't have to vacuum and stuff. And, you know, when I was younger, I spent all day at school, so I kind of got some some time with some filtered air, more or less. But now I just got, you know, there's cat fur everywhere. We don't even own cats, I don't know how that happened now. There's a uh, cat fur everywhere, and it really just gravitates towards the nose, or at least you notice it there more. Alright. Should go without saying, I'm not super thrilled with the way this went down. But it's okay. And that's the end of that. Okay, okay, okay. So, how do we play this? Pretty easily. We're gonna get as much money as we can here. We should be able to get a lot. I mean, we're just gonna be sticking with this trinket anyway. It's not like I'm missing out on anything by not taking Blue Baby's soul. Item's pretty terrible. And, uh... I'm just gonna pick up the red heart that's back here reason we're going to do that is because that allows us to go to this curse room without dying, which is a pretty big part of my overall survival strategy. Then when we leave here, we can come down here to the boss trap room. And by doing this, we'll get a speed upgrade. We did all of this for a speed upgrade, which I am super stoked about because that is exactly what we needed right now. Can't complain too hard because we did get meat on this floor, but also, fuck that. I can complain as hard as I want. The most common items in the whole freaking game are HP upgrades. Would it be so much to ask for you to give me, like, a couple of them over the course of a run? Good lordy. Look who's 40. 40 sheets to the wind done with your bullshit. That doesn't make any sense, but you get the idea. And there's no other special rooms we've missed out on here. So, we'll do like a little of this. And we're really hoping to get this to pay out because we want the speed upgrade. I mean, I thought I went on record completely non-sarcastically as saying it's the most important objective for us to get right now. This has the potential to sincerely fuck us, by the way. If I end up getting no payout from this blood bank, no red heart payout, which is probably the more likely option, and uh, we end up on Necropolis next, which is completely feasible. Uh, I could, uh, could pretty much, uh, pretty much be screwed. I thought there was like another red heart back there. Uh, so we'll buy the spirit heart for safety purposes. We got a puberty pill for safety purposes, and we don't even have like I thought there was another red heart or something in here. Nope. So that's gonna do it, huh? We're gonna blow up our blood bank and get out of this floor. Might be a, mo a secret room there. If there's a mob trap room, I'd be very surprised. To its credit, good payout at the end. But geez louise. This is a nightmare zone right here. Really, really need that deal with the devil on the next floor, and I pretty much need it to be Brimstone Mom's Knife. Like, not both. Although, if it's both, I guess I have my pick of the litter, but... Either or would be absolutely sweet. Why? What the hell? I could have found the secret room there, you big dummy. Uh, well, if we find a blood bank, this will feel pretty good. Otherwise, not so much. Free map. Well, not free, but cheap map. That's real good. Yep, could have found the secret room. Waste of a bomb, but oh well. At least we found the secret room. Now, we don't have any control over what you drop. So if you want to drop the steam sale, oh wait, you can't because I already bought it. Finally, we got a good shop item, by the way. Mom's purse is okay. 
Steam sale? Okay, it's paid for itself because we got it so early. Really? Well, we're uh, we're definitely going to take the Stars card. I could have used the Tower card effectively there, or I could have used the Towers card and blown my head up. So, I'm not too disappointed with this either way. This is one of the few rooms where, um, you know, using the ladder to get on those secret kind of chasm spots over there doesn't really help me out. If that, was, if that were the Joker card, I would have been so excited. But we can do this on this floor without the Joker card. We just kind of need luck to be on our side. Because we've got a... Uh, oh, jeez, Louise. Okay, let's just hang out for a minute here. We're going to go through to this room because, of course, we are. You know, we want to get as many nail charges as possible. Alright. I don't know how to use this Two of Clubs card, to be honest with you. Because we're... Definitely going to take the Stars card with us. I don't really care about breaking that open, to be honest with you. It's going to take too long for me to consider it worth it. Even though Counterfeit Penny would allow us to get a lot of money. If we had money equals power, it would be a different story. But, of course, we don't. And we probably won't get it. And if we do, we can still get more money back. So I guess I'm just going to... I'm going to take uh, two of clubs on the entirety of the floor... And then we'll use it right before the end. <clears throat> and this seems to be working out pretty fantastically thus far. I'm gonna have at least eight bombs, possibly more. Yeah, this is the right play. Then we use the stars card on the next floor, and it's actually a good thing because it means that with our one key, well, as long as we can get one more key before the end here, I didn't realize we hadn't been to our item room on this room, on this floor, I should say. If we can get one more uh, key, then we can visit all of the remaining, you know, key gated rooms for now. Let's not worry about the chest yet, because there's a very realistic possibility if things don't turn up a little bit for us, that we're not going to be turning up for the chest. I hate that I can't say that, by the way, because there's that song, you know, Turn Down For What? I'm not I'm not hip with popular music, and it's not me positioning myself as some kind of countercultural, I don't listen to, I think it's Little John, right? I don't listen to Little John. And it's not that, it's just that... It's not that I don't I make an effort not to listen to popular music, it's just that my music taste crystallized when I was like 16 years old, so I just continue to listen to the stuff that I listened to when I was 16, and I don't seek out anything else and I don't drive a car. So and then I'm, you know, I'm not not driving a car because of the environment. I'm not driving a car because I don't need a car, so I might as well save the money, right? But um, so I don't listen to the radio or anything like that. And people are always amazed when you say like, "Oh, who's who's Ariana Grande?" And you're like, "You're just trying to Make yourself look like you're cooler than me. No, dude, I actually have no goddamn idea. Okay? I've, I know Ariana Grande, because the last time I was in the U.S., there was like a commercial for the MTV... I'm not going to take these... Uh, I'm not going to use Guppy's Paws, what I'm trying to get at here. I think we need the health more, even though Polaroid's coming soon. Um, it was a commercial for the MTV Video Awards, and it was like, Ariana Grande is going to be there. And I'm like, okay, cool. Who? Anyway. It's sincerely just ignorance, not any kind of like, uh, oh, I'm better than you. And I mean that uh, sincerely, but anyway. People are always surprised by that. But yeah, I can't say, hey, you know, I hope you, oh, we should use the stars card now then. We can use the hermit card on the next floor. I'm like, hey, you should, uh, well, I'm throwing a party, you should turn up. And then everyone goes, turn up for what? And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Can you just talk to me like a human being and not some kind of conglomerate of cultural references? I know, look who's, you know, pot calling the kettle black here. Oh, this is not very good. Should be using the nail. Yeah, there's no reason to save that for the boss fight. I mean, there's a reason, but I don't think there's any good reason. So yeah, thanks, uh, thanks a lot, little Jonathan. You've ruined turn as a word. Never did. Oh, the music video is really funny. I'm, I will never watch it. It's not because I'm snobby. It's because it's just not going to happen. I have no... I, I, people think I'm joking when I say this on the NLSS, but I mean this 100% sincerely. I listen to exclusively, like, nothing but a G thing and Regulate by Warren G and Nate Dogg. Warren G featuring Nate Dogg. That's pretty much it. Go and I don't even I don't even have the albums with me. I just go to YouTube and I YouTube like nothing but a G thing. And then it says, "Did you mean nothing but a G thing?" And it's like, "Yeah, okay." But I didn't feel good about typing it in. You got me. 
We have a lot of uses for bombs here, but we're just holding up until we get our... Uh, until we get our two of clubs card to work as effectively as possible. We'll handle it before the boss, just because I'm liable to just get excited if we get a deal with the devil and then just leave and be like, oh, I'm an idiot. So we're going to have like 24 bombs. That's really good. We've got like a 12 bomb payout from this card. And there's a demon judgment here, which excites me. So now that we have two of clubs, let's go take a look back here. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything spectacular. That is nothing spectacular. That is not spectacular. Strength card. We'll take that into the demon judgment room. I don't think I'm missing anything over here. So there was like a bomb for a tinted rock like down here somewhere. We want to take our hermit card down to the next floor. That's an important part of this whole plan that we've got going. Uh, well, that's we, we can pick it up. We might as well pick it up. It's maybe two cents. Yeah, it's one cent. It's still fine. Maybe I only missed one tinted rock. I thought I had more uses for bombs here. Well, there's one here for sure. Yeah, I'll open it. I'll bite. I'd say that was pretty good. Spirit hearts are quite nice. Was there one just before the boss? Like, I'm, I'm losing my mind here. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine here. Yeah, there was one before the boss. Okay, small rock. Compensate for those speed upgrades. Alright, well, more bombs. So it turns out we effed it up a little bit. We should have um, <clears throat> used our two of clubs a little later, but it ends up making almost no appreciable difference. Come on, Demon Judgment. It's an extremely relevant part of my uh, plan here. That's two guppy items. So now we should have taken nine lives, but we have a good chance to get nine lives. Hermit. Yeah, that's what we want. We have a good chance to get nine lives either on this floor's deal with the devil, maybe the next floor's deal with the devil. I think the guppy realm is in sight here. We're going to be fighting Loki, which is not bad. And we can definitely afford to use some bombs to speed this bad boy up. That worked out. Okay. Just, yeah, take it. We can afford to take this guy out. Very good. I'm a little scared. I think that's justifiable. But I'm not going to take red heart damage. I just really want to avoid taking spirit heart damage because, you know, this is our livelihood right here. And it's Krampus. But that's okay. As far as I'm concerned, Krampus should not, well, you know, Lump of Coal slash Krampus should not be considered a deal with the Devil Room when it comes to choosing or... Well, yeah, choosing whether or not you get one on the next floor. Because it's not really like a traditional deal with the devil. You gotta you gotta work your body, work your body, make sure you don't hurt nobody if you want to get something here. Lump of coal's great, but it's not what we needed. We are a horrifying visage right now. Alright, down to the next floor. With that in mind, we're on Necropolis. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, it, of course we're on Necropolis, but also, this room sucked, but... Having the nail made it a lot easier. That was, dare I say, almost a pleasure. Now, the next time we won't be so lucky, in all likelihood. But that time was not so bad. Okay. Two keys. Remember, we're not going to open our shop yet. Although, actually, with two keys, maybe we want to, just in case it has uh, nuns have it. I mean, we'd, we'd miss out on a key, but... We have enough anyway, so I don't think it's a terrible idea. Oh, that's so tempting. Let's see. Guppy. Gup, guppy. Okay. Big plays. Now we can fly, which means we can pick this up. And it's the Joker card. Gives us the pact. Oh, this is gasoline meat grill. We are cooking now. So that hermit card is still useful for us, although we'll never want to pick up the, uh, yeah, we'll never want to pick up the quarter. So what we'll do is just come through this. Okay, this is great. If you're mad that I've become Guppy, I apologize. But, you know, I don't really at the same time. Because this is a run that's been a little tricky for us. So having the nail's been great, but the only reason we were at... Wait, did we actually pick up any Guppy items on Deals with the Devil? I don't think we did. We got one from a Demon Judgment one from a, and two from a Curse Room. That is extra... Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. 
That's extremely weird. Um, this pill is a lockdown. I'll take it. We found our second secret room. It contains more flies. Hermit is good. We're going to take the devil card with us in the future, but the hermit card will allow us to save a key. Ride a cowboy. All right, feeling groovy now. What do we got in here? It's our item room, which we're going to open. Could there be a library? Or, uh, well, yes. This is two of clubs again. I'm just going to pop that right away. Could be a library, but that's not what I was curious about. Um, could there be an arcade? Yes, there are four terminals left. One's going to be a shop, one's going to be a boss room. In fact, I would go so far as to say that I would be very surprised if one were not an arcade at this point. Probably one of them will be like a curse room, one an arcade. Oh, judgment. So good for us later. Not right now, but later. There's our shop. It is possible we don't get an arcade. I'm not trying to backtrack now. I just thought it was more likely they would get an arcade than not. So we use our hermit card. Inside we find Book of Revelations, which for seven cents seems like an... I'll pay seven cents for a spirit heart in our situation. And I'm going to see what this tarot card is as well. It's the Hanged Man, which is worthless, but hey, worthless for us. Now we have Judgment. I think Judgment beats the Devil card. We're coming through this room because it gives us more nail charges. Uh, yeah, yeah, Judgment beats the Devil card if we can get a deal with the Devil on the next floor. Even if we can't, still probably worth it. Two of Spades. I'm going to pop it. I know it doesn't give us that much at this point, but... There's a lot of tarot cards going on right now, and I kind of just wanted to deal with it. So I, I just freed a couple of them, and then... Oh, I freed one of them only? That sucks. And our nail charge is going to be perfect here, but there's our arcade, which means we can go to our boss trap room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're not going to use our nail charge on the boss trap room. We'll use it on Mom instead. Figured that was worth a try. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Now, I don't care. There's almost nothing you could be that would disappoint me, because I'm so excited about the fact that we got the whole guppy thing working for us. But if there is a benevolent bone in your body, if you give me another shot speed upgrade that I've already fucking ignored, I am gonna... Be okay, that's... I'm sorry for the... I apologize for the harsh language, sir. That was, um... I was on call for, I got a little bit, my id took over, I'm a big fan of Freudian psychoanalytics, um, my id's been getting out of control because I've been eating too many gluten-free pancakes, and I apologize. Alright, blame it on the GMOs. That was the fastest boss trap room in a long time. Hey, why not? Another lockdown grade, that was weird. There we go. We're gonna pick up more red hearts. Which we still have some kind of trucking along here. And then we're going to gamble on the blood bank. And then we're going to leave and fight mom, which should be relatively easy. Don't expect to get a good use out of our judgment card. And I think we're going to take ace of spades with us. It's kind of a no-brainer choice. They, those cards have worked out fantastically for us thus far. And I would like to continue it. Counterfeit Penny's been good, but we're not going to need the money for anything. Especially, we have the Steam sale, you know? Like, what's the point? Who are we trying to impress? So, Red Mom. Easy Mom. Choosy Moms. Choose Red. Flies are just doing a number here. This should be over, like, right now. And we get the Coin Purse, which is interesting. I think we have a pretty good knowledge of the, the pills in our area here. Bombs are key. Yeah, okay. Those could be telepills. Those are I found pills. Alright. Let's telepills out, if it is telepills. It's pretty fly. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'll take it. I was kind of hoping we get to leave because I have 49 keys now. And uh, that would make it very easy for me to open those golden chests. So be it, though. So it's down to the next floor. And we are very much hoping for a... Deal with the devil on this floor. So why did I take... Bombs are key. Sounds like a pretty silly decision, right? What am I going to do with 48 keys? Well, the reason I did it, 48 keys is indeed overkill. But we have Guppy's tail. So, you know, I think it's more valuable to have the keys than it is to have 49 bombs when I'm already doing crazy damage with my tears. It's going to neuter me in some respects. 
like not having very many bombs is gonna suck against mom's heart for example but it's also still pretty okay it's very unlikely to do much damage and I'm thinking that we're gonna get a lot more in return out of uh, out of the golden chest so I'm totally going to our curse room here don't doubt it for a second it's unfortunate Traded two spirit hearts for effectively nothing. I was right. We could use our judgment in there. But it's a lesser chance of getting a good deal with the devil item than using it on the deal with the devil, for example. So I think we'll just kind of wait on it. And try to get maybe something better out of it later. I don't really mind using our judgment on a vanilla room if we have to. Instead of using it on our curse room, for example. Boss? No library. Now, with all these keys, I think I would be pretty silly to not at least try the whole library situation here. Temperance, I'm going to pop down. It's, like, very unlikely to be useful, but I thought maybe there'd be a Book of Shadows in here. There's not, and that's okay. Live and let live, you know? Paul McCartney's full of shit. Just my motto in general, Paul McCartney's full of shit. You can check out paulmccartneysfullofshit.com and uh, get my uh, more comprehensive thoughts on the subject. Holding my breath, hoping uh, that this pays out. It paid out with some uh, delicious individual pennies. Don't spend them all in one place. Oh, wait, you can't. At least until his judgment shows up. Could be demon judgment. If that happens, well, you know, there's not much I can do about it. I still don't fully understand why luck downgrade pills are good. I believe it gives you less of a chance of getting a consumable, more of a chance of getting a chest. Which is weird, but... All I know is what people tell me, and people tell me it's good to take luck downgrades. It's also not bad to take luck upgrades. It's one of those weird kind of like either extreme, at least in my opinion, either extreme is better than the norm. I think. Because the more luck upgrades you have, I think the more likely you are to get consumable drops. I don't know where the, the threshold is for when it stops being good and bad anyway. Uh, we'll keep using our nail been working out very nicely for us thus far and might as well crush as many of these rocks as we can let's be honest we're probably not gonna need the spirit hearts but so be it finally coming close to our boss fight I'm excited this is where our momentum is gonna pick up we're probably gonna stop you know covering the entirety of the floor we really don't need a pretty fly please don't be conquest okay blast assist that is 100% acceptable and we are going to tear you up like a lightsaber through butter. Now, you might think a lightsaber through butter. butter. Oh, that sucks. Kind of a nerdy reference, right? Well, yes, it is. But no, it's more nerdy than you think, to be honest with you. Um, because I remember that expression, like a lightsaber through butter, thanks to the back of our type on the Sega Master System. You can go look up that box for yourself, but I remember it as a kid. So it's, it's much nerdier than you would have otherwise anticipated, maybe. If this Demon Judgment doesn't pay out, hey, no skin off my skin region. I am uh, totally fine. Should have used the Temperance card along with it. Oh well, basically, is where I fall on that issue. I would love you to pay out, though. That doesn't help at all. Probably. So we'll take our Empress card down to the next floor. This run is not 100% won, but very, very close. There could be an arcade on this floor. Who cares? There could be uh, could be a lot of things on this floor. Who cares? The only thing on our mind right now, and I say this as someone who just lost two spirit hearts fighting a very easy boss I could have just hit over the rocks and used my fly army to kill. Uh, the most important thing, don't take damage. We're not generating so many spirit hearts that we can afford to just be willy-nilly like I was right there. Don't be willy-nilly like I was right there. Bump, bump. My hunch was that that was the 1812 overture, and it was. Don't be willy-nilly like I was back there. Boom, boom. Anyway, that's going to be stuck in my head forever, and that's the worst, because that isn't even good. Like, the 1812 overture is a great song. My interpretation of it, absolute horseshit. That's our boss room. So even though there's a demon judgment, we're not going to be willy-nilly with our health back there. Empress card and nail. Uh, 
gonna play Demon Judgment twice, but I'm not gonna use the Emperor's card here. Sure. I'm content. We're gonna use the Nail, that should be more than enough. That was real dumb. Bad crowd control? Yeah, very bad crowd control. But with our flies, we, uh, we have a bit of a tolerance for badness because uh, it's all going to get taken care of for us one way or the other. This is pretty much a one run, as long as we don't totally blow into the cathedral. And that's nice to have a random one run. Uh, it happens less often than it does with Isaac, so it feels good. And we haven't become guppy that much lately either, so everyone's going to say, oh, well, you became guppy, it's not fair. Guppy's been having a lot, happening a lot less lately. Now, we could have used our judgment on that deal with the devil, which would have been fine as well, but... Whatever. Now, this is going to take spirit arts, which I think is really dumb, but... We might as well take advantage of it while we're here. And we got the wafer! That was so worth it, and I had no expectation that it would turn out that way. I had no expectation it would go that way. Boom, boom. It was just supposed to be cannons, but the boom, boom kind of works as well. Alright, more golden chests, less problems. You know, not everything can be approximated perfectly to a rap song. Just gotta start living your life by a different code of ethos at some point. We're gonna have, like, a lot of money and not much to do with it. But I can't really complain too hard because we're probably also gonna win. Now these flies might be good enough to get it done before you can do anything else. And not quite. And he pushed me out. You know what? I didn't want to be there anyway. Joke's on you. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with my choice there, because I totally would have gone to the right. So what did the world card save me there? It saved me two rooms, alright? It's not it's no Tarantino levels of savings, but it's alright. Now we're we're losing out on spirit hearts here. We're low. Ish. But we're not in a bad position. We're in a great position. It would just be nice if I could make it even greater. What's better, Empress or Devil? I consider them pretty much exactly equal. So I'm going to say the Devil card's better, because that's the one I am presently holding inside of my hand. Matchstick is not good enough to replace Ace of Spades right now. Careful. I think we'll save our Nail, because we're, uh, we we're going to want the damage bonus for the boss fight. And we might as well use the Devil, because we can take the Empress with us. Okay. Let's try it. You know, I was hoping for something a little bit better than that. The ability to fly doesn't do anything for us. We already have Spectral Tears, and Sister Maggie, what percentage of our damage is that going to give us? Like, four? What a weird number to pick. I didn't even see that Tinted Rock before. Oh, baby. A triple. This is good. We're a little slower now, but we're going to do a lot more damage. And our flies are going to do more damage. That's a nice turn of events. So there's the devil. There's our nail, and we should be tearing it up right now. I expect to take damage in the process. Uh, we do have a full suite of orbitals. Not great orbitals, but orbitals nonetheless. You know, not all orbitals are created equal, but I thank them all for coming out here regardless. Just make sure to get that Empress card when we leave. And good slick dodge there. We're in like flint. Okay. We'll take our Empress card. Kind of wish I'd saved the world card now, but, you know, of course I do. After you use it, you, you don't have the benefit of it anymore, right? So I'm hoping for Spirit Hearts and Red Hearts from our, uh, our drops or... You know, if the compass showed up, I wouldn't be kicking it out of bed for eating crackers, which just seems irresponsible to me. Now. Fat Odd Mushroom, Demon Judgment. Demon Baby, I should say. Game Kid. Uh, so two of them are good, two of them are bad. Fat Odd Mushroom is pretty sweet. Uh, we have two Empress cards now, and that's a two of clubs. I'll just pop that right away. The other two are, are pretty much trash. But that's okay. Without the trash, you don't know what the treasure is, right? That's what they say, probably. Someone said that before. If just me right now. And the flies will be your undoing. 
If we're gonna come with up with the nerdiest references of all time. I'm very frightened here. Because this should be a one run, and that's where you get these real anxiety inducing runs for me. Because if a run is supposed to be one, the only thing to gain from it is, yep. If a run's supposed to be lost and you win, people go, hey, good job, that's amazing. If a run's uh, supposed to be won and you lose, then people go, what the fuck is wrong with you? You've been playing this game for how many episodes and you still blah, 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 blah? So, like, I really, I'm, this is a run where, even though I'm in a comfortable position, it's more just about saving face than anything else, which is fine. Not every run can be your bombastic underdog story. But there's, there's almost more pressure, which probably makes me play worse. It's almost as if I'm discovering sports psychology for the first time. Alrighty then. Yes, we will check out our secret room, because why the heck not? I guess we're gonna go far left. I'm guessing that the boss is bottom left, but, uh, so what? Okay, don't, don't charge. Don't charge. Alright, he charged. That's okay, though. Speed upgrade is actually beautiful for us right now. I'm excited to have that. And I mean that sincerely. That'll help us a little bit. Please be our boss room, by the way. Not our boss, which means I'm gonna use the nail. And we're going to kill Sloth last if our flies cooperate. They sort of did. I had to take matters into my own hand. We got temperance. Ugh. Not very good. Spelunker sad. Not really good enough. Oh, there's our secret room, though. Maybe it is. And there's lard. That's huge for us, especially if we can get red hearts to go along with it. We have the wafer. We might as well not worry about half heart intervals. Okay, we've won. It's it's big enough at this point that there's not even any danger in it. And I apologize for s it wasn't really in intentional misrepresentation, but you know maybe painting this run is a little bit more dangerous than it is. I I've I didn't really internalize the fact that we had the wafer, which is really good. Sure, another luck down pill. Uh, Hero font. Sure, yeah. Let's make it a little bit more overpowered. This is fine. This is good. It's kind of sad that I'm the laughing stock of the neighborhood. I'm not good. It was one of those things where like I referenced Nookie by Limp Biscuit, and then it was like, let's have another conversational thread. And when I went to grasp at it, all I kept pulling down were more N N Nookie lyrics. You know, it was just Nookie as far as the eye can see. Like a chump, you could say. Hey. Uh, I thought maybe I could use those more effectively, but I already killed the enemy that they would have been used to hit. So pretty much we're just holding the buttons down at this point. There's going to be a Binding of Isaac kill screen coming up if you guys are interested. Poison Touch is good. Is it Ace of Spades that gives us the uh, an extra card every time we open the chest? Like, that seems super good. I thought it was Lucky Toe that did that. Maybe, it, maybe it's both. Maybe it's neither, and I'm just getting super lucky. Or maybe it's luck. Maybe that's luck down. <laughs> luck down causes you to get more tarot cards and stuff when you open chests. I have no idea. I really don't. And it really doesn't matter right now. We also have poison touch, so every time I get hit. You want me to do it? That's nice. Okay. It ain't about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep coming. That's pretty much what we got going on right now. We pretty much have Rocky Balboa going on right now. A lot of people... I don't get it, man. People shit on Rocky Balboa. People who have never seen it, they shit on Rocky Balboa. Oh, he's too old to box. That's the whole point of the movie. I'm, not, I'm probably a bigger Rocky fan than average. But I respect the limitations of the series. This is going to be over fast, uh, so we better get it going. Rocky 1 is amazing. If you haven't seen it and you only know the char characterizations, sorry, the caricatures, I should say, the parodies, you're missing out. Go watch it. The one best picture, I think. It deserved to, anyway. It was nominated. Um, Rocky 2, kind of okay. Rocky 3, dog shit. Rocky 4, the series is reborn as kind of like an ironic self-parody Cold War nonsense thing. Rocky 5, absolutely terrible. Rocky Balboa, kind of a sincere... 
like, growing old coming-of-age story about a man... It's a sad, you know, kind of tragedy about a man who can't give up his former glories. It's like a 58-year-old guy who's gonna box, like, the World Heavyweight Champion or Featherweight Champion. It's worth seeing. I'll go ahead and say that, alright? I think Rocky Balboa's got some stirring moments in it. Speaking of which, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.